y'all, it's Bailey, welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing another top five, bottom five video. I have a little series going on my channel where I talk about my top five favorite, insert makeup category here, and then my bottom five favorite, least favorite. Yes, you guys understand. It's pretty self-explanatory. I've already done primers and foundations. Now, actually, I did not go in the right order. I'm gonna do powders today. It's just now hitting me to do concealer for powder, um, but I didn't prepare for that. So we'll do concealers another time, but today we're gonna talk about my top five, bottom five powders. In case you don't know, I have more normal to dry skin, so the powders I love are going to more work with that kind of skin type. Actually, most of them I don't think oily skin people would like them anyway, so they're just not the greatest powders. That didn't work out for me, and I don't see working out for a lot of people. So if you like this video, let me know by giving me a thumbs up and subscribe. If you want to see my previous videos, I have a playlist all dedicated to the top five, bottom five series. But yeah, let's just go ahead and get into my top five favorite powders. Okay, so this is in no particular order. They all have like a different purpose, which you'll see what I mean when I talk about them individually. But the first powder I want to talk about is the one that I've been using the most recently. It is the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder, and I have been loving this powder really since I purchased it a couple months ago. And at first I wasn't super sure about it because number one, it's expensive for a face powder, like she pricey, but the packaging is gorgeous. I mean, look at the nice, like, bronzy, coppery lid, and on the inside it's all gold with a little H in it. It's very lovely. But the powder itself is so pretty and just so fine. It feels truly like nothing, and it looks like nothing on the skin. However, I don't like to use this all over the face just because I I'm not a big powder girl all over the face anymore. I used to be, but lately I just put it kind of where I need it, where I want to make sure that nothing's going to crease and nothing's going to move. And that's where this powder comes into play because when I use it, I just use it in targeted areas, aka where I put my concealer, which is usually under my eyes. So I just place it under my eyes and I feel like it gives the most soft kind of like a blur appearance to my under eyes, which I need because that's like where my pores are. It doesn't cling on to any of the dryness, and it doesn't look flat and powdery, which is why I love it so much. So this one has been a huge hit. I know they have a mini of this. If you don't want to spend the full price on it, you will just kind of try it out, you know, see if it works, then definitely go for the mini. But um, this has been awesome. Now moving on to another powder that I love. Now this powder I like to use when I want just a little bit more coverage than what the foundation I'm wearing can provide, and that is my foundation powder. So this foundation powder, I don't think that's what you actually call it, uh, but it's from It Cosmetics, and it's the Your Skin But Better CC Airbrush Perfecting Powder. It's a sheer to full coverage finishing veil, so you can either like really build it up and make it into a like foundation-like coverage, which isn't my speed. I don't do that with this. I use it more as the sheer portion, and I just take a fluffy brush and just dust it all over my face, and it really does even out my complexion add just a little bit more coverage and I guess just even out my complexion you know it works for me sometimes I like to use this if I'm just wearing concealer that day but I still want to you guessed it even out my complexion just buff it on it's really quick really easy and I think the coverage is just right and I do like the fact that you can build it up where you need it the only bad thing about this is their color range is really weird first of all it cosmetics does not have the best color range in general and second of all I feel like the color range is off the shade I have in this powder is medium that's not medium but Whatever, I digress. But this is definitely my favorite powder for those days where I want a little bit of color in my powder. And while we're talking about It Cosmetics, they have another one of my favorite powders. And I love this because I have a pore problem. Like the pores around my nose right here are insane. And all those days where they're just totally out of control, you really just want to smooth them out. This powder is actually amazing. So this is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Poreless Finish HD Micro powder and shade translucent and this stuff first of all I've had it forever and I'm not even near done with it but this is a super super fine powder but if you like swatch it just go in the store and swatch it and you'll see it has such a smoothing element to it just it literally just feels so smooth 
like it just smooths out my fingertips it's the craziest thing so whenever I really just want to make sure my face looks smooth and poreless I go for a little bit of this um, if I'm wanting to like bake my skin which I haven't done in a while but you know remember when that was the thing it was the thing um, I like to use this for that because it really did just smooth everything out and I think it's unique in that way I can't think of any other powder that I know of that has that same effect so for the days where I want to really look smooth and flawless I go with this all right my next powder Powder is the Glossier Wowder and this is in the shade Lights Medium and this is another tinted powder but it's not I won't say it gives you like a lot of coverage or anything like whereas the It Cosmetics can actually even out your skin tone this one is truly like a sheer sheer wash of color but there's something about this when I'm wanting that like glossier look a very like no makeup makeup look but you don't want to look super greasy but you also don't want to look matte but you want to like tone down the grease that sounds so weird but you know what I mean go with a little bit of this just in your t-zone because it really does soak up that like unwanted shine but leave behind still a radiance if that makes any sense and I also love the packaging of this one because that's a little net in it and it's not going to get super super messy like the it cosmetics one does packaging wise this one is fantastic and I like the texture of this one too because it has like a slightly creamy thing going on and I feel like it looks just really nice and natural on the skin so this powder is definitely something that I love in my collection. Great for those no makeup makeup days, but when you want your skin not to look like a greasy oily mess, so this one's awesome. Alright, and my final top five powder is something that I don't have with me currently because I used it all up and I didn't repurchase it immediately because, as you can tell, I have a few other powders to go through. Um, but it is the Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder. If you've been on my channel for a little bit, then you might know my love for this powder. It is so good. They have two shades. They have a translucent light and then they have a translucent deep which I think is fantastic and I love how it doesn't cling on to dry patches. This is a powder that I can use all over this face. I can go like kind of crazy with it and it's not going to make me look like a powdery flat mess. Very very lightweight but unlike the like hourglass one for example it doesn't give you that like blurring effect. Um, it's not very smoothing. It's a pretty basic powder but there's nothing wrong with being basic but it is a basic powder. Like it's just if you want something that's going to keep your makeup on lockdown go with that one. Okay, so those were my top five. Now let's talk about my bottom five. So I only actually have one of them with me at the moment, and that is my Viseart Translucent Setting Powder. I picked this up from Sephora, yes, um, kind of on a whim. They didn't really have any reviews or anything, but I figured it's Viseart. That's a very professional brand. It must be good, and this stuff is, first of all, it's dark white. And second of all, it just made my skin look so flat and gross. Um, and I just, mm, it didn't work for my lifestyle. It doesn't work for, like, the look I'm going for. I just didn't like how it made my skin look. I think it probably is, like, because of how white it is. I'm sure it's great for, like, on set or something. If you really want to make sure it's, like, on lockdown and it's going to, like reflect well or so I don't know I'm just making things up but for me in my everyday life this did not work okay the next powder that did not work out for me is the pressed powder from L'Oreal from their infallible pro glow line I remember I was so excited about this powder because I like the foundation and I'm always looking to add a little bit more glow in my life so I went out picked it up and I was very surprised when I opened up the package and it's like a two-tone powder and then one of the tones has sparkle on it who wants a sparkly face powder? So it was like weird and it just made my skin look weird. It had glitter in it. It's like, I just, I don't get it. There's just so many other better options out there. Uh, that one's not one of them. Now speaking of face powders with glitter in them, I feel like this has been a reoccurring theme. So many people have been coming out with like glow powders that has like so much micro shimmer. It's just, it's too much. So first one is the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil, but it's their Illuminating Mineral Veil. They actually sent that to me in a PR package and I was so excited because, you know, with Bare Minerals are a little bit more of like a natural brand. You wouldn't really expect them to do like a glitter bomb on you, but, but they did. They did. They did. And I mean, it's a nice fine glitter. Maybe if you use like it very lightly and very sparingly would look good. But I feel like there's a lot of room for error there. Like if you just use a little too much in like one spot, it might look weird. So I didn't like that just because there's so much glitter. And then same with my next bottom foundation, the new Laura Mercier Glow Translucent Setting Powder. Very similar to the Bare Minerals one where it just has a ton of glitter in it. 
it's just like, oh, uh, mm. and then again, even if you do use it just sparingly, it's just way too much, way too much like, risk, I guess, for me, I know, so much risk, um, but it's just, it's not my look, I don't like it, and it's not like you can use that to, like, set concealer under your eyes or anything, because then you're just kind of glitter under your eyes, and it's just, it's not the look I'm going for, it's just not. Okay, and my last, least favorite powder that I have tried is from Marc Jacobs, and it's their Coconut loose setting powder that they came out with this year. Well, they came out with it this past summer and I checked on Sephora and they still have it. And this was a weird setting powder. So it has packaging similar to the Wowder where it has that little net that catches a lot of the product, which is good. I really did like the packaging, but it smelled like coconut, which was like, okay. Like, honestly, I could live without that. But the texture, I don't want to say it was gummy, but that's like the only word that's coming to mind it just it didn't sit right on the skin it looked powdery but it also didn't and it looked like it wasn't super even it's just it's weird it was a weird powder so needless to say I returned that one and got my money back um but yeah that was that was not good all right y'all so those are all of my top five and bottom five powders I'm sorry I totally skipped concealers I'll do that one next so we'll be like all square but um let me know in the comments down below what are your favorite powders Powders. What are your least favorite powders? Do you agree with my list? Do you disagree with my list? Let me know in the comments. Um, but that is everything for today's video. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and I will see you guys next time.